All right, I'd like to do an update on the plants growing under uh, my LED lights. As you can see, it is starting to feel a little bit like winter here in Tahoe. Um, but inside we have, that's my temperature thingy. All right, so right now 37% humidity but it does get up into the 50s. Um, depends on if I leave the door to this room opened or shut. Usually if I leave the door shut, uh, the temperature or the humidity tends to stay in the 40 range and uh, the temperature drops to 61 when I have the door shut. Right now the door's been open for a while, so 68. So, what do we have going on in here? Well, this guy's still in bloom. Can't believe it. And it bloomed under the lights. So that's cool. Melatoniopsis. Uh, growth, new growth here. Doing pretty well. Uh, this Melatoniopsis doing really well with minimal wrinkling happening um, back in here. So that's pretty exciting. Doing really well in the semi-hydro and under the lights. The lights don't seem to really be bothering it. Color looks good. Good growth. Nice roots. I, you know, oh, lots of new roots in there. I'm not really sure what's going on at the bottom. It's kind of getting gross down there. I hope it's not mold. I hope it's just algae. Uh, so, I don't know. This one was doing really poorly. Um, this is my Howard's Dream Bolera that I thought was dead. But uh, it's sending out new roots into the semi-hydro. So awesome. I think I'd done a video on how I did this, how I rigged it up, because I staked it. Yeah, but it's, it's actually, it's growing. So, sweet. Up here, this is a division off of, uh, I bought it on eBay. It's a psychopsis. I got water on the main division, but luckily this one's doing really well. And let's look at, this one's been growing under these lights for a while. Let's take it out. And, uh... Look at the color on that leaf. It's beautiful. Some really good color. And I think that's due to the lights. These crazy grow lights have really helped. Uh, like this one, too. Look at, look at that beautiful color on that leaf. So, they are getting a good amount of light. This little guy, I'm hoping this is my, uh, ooh, there's some, nope, nothing in there. Um... I'm expecting this guy to bloom soon, hopefully. It's mature enough, it should. Okay, what else? Okay, good news over here. Let's move this little guy. Let's put it right there. That's good. Um, so, look at that. There's a new growth right there. Really happy about that. Um, there is a new leaf down inside there. And... This new growth is doing really well as well. So this plant is doing great. This this growth here started, I can't really see it. Yeah. That growth right there started um, while under the grow lights. And uh, got some roots trying to poke through at the bottom here. Or is that a new, yeah, those are roots. Um, let's see, this one's doing pretty well too. Let's pull it out. Uh, this guy should bloom for me, hopefully, this year. Uh, I got nothing down inside, but still doing pretty well. It's a nice looking root there. And, uh, growing happy under the lights. Another, uh, path petal in back there. Doing nice. Um, what else? So, they've been growing under the grow lights for a few months now, and... Uh, new growth is growing really well, actually. I feel like a lot of the new growth is growing better than it had before. Here's my special little guy. Um, and we have... It's shooting out leaves like crazy. And uh, I moved it to the lower level because this plant likes to be uh, cooler. Yeah, there's some algae. Gross. Um, but, uh... Yeah, sending out new leaves. That's good. I like it. I'll take it. 
Um, but here's something that's happened. Let's see if I can find that plant. Yeah. I have a plant. This one to show you guys what happened under the grow lights. This is a Bolera. <laughs> don't mind the box. And I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can. You can totally see that color right there. That color is what we could call a suntan. Um, this plant, in particular, has been getting the max amount of light without burning. So, um, that has happened since growing under the LED lights. Look, you can, you can see where the, the sun wasn't, or the light wasn't hitting it as much. It's pretty funny. So, the fact that it's doing this means that these little LED lights I got under there, growing there, are putting out plant more than enough for a Bolera. Um, I don't think I have any more purpling happening. It's hard to tell under the purple lights, but I do have this, this plant is just gross. I'm sorry. Sleep looks okay. Um, but I have some new growth here. I don't know. I've really neglected this plant a lot, so it's really a poor example of anything. That's my update. Uh, new growth growing really well under, this is a, a zygopetalum, and uh, I think we got new growth, new roots for sure. There's a little tiny new growth right in there. Uh, look at those pretty new roots down there. Those are gorgeous. Oh, there's another little new growth over there next to that bulb. Um, and yeah, that, all those little new growths there have developed wall under the grow lights. This is a huge bulb. Went from, this is the bulb that I got, that it was when I first got it. And here's a bulb about two years later. Talk about maturing. Look at how big that thing is compared to that little guy. Uh, and I thought this was a small plant. Silly me. So, zygopetalum. My plant that likes to shed its leaves. Zygonesia. She did not bloom for me this year. I don't know why. She usually does. Usually if this one blooms, this one blooms. But um, I don't know. She's going through. That leaf looks bad. Hmm. But look at these leaves. Let's see. Do we have any purpling of the leaf? No, it's just the color. There we go. We can get a better look at the color of these leaves. Um, no, no purpling. Seems to be doing pretty well. Might have some purpling. Uh, oh, there's new growth. Growing. Uh, so leaves dropping. New growth growing. Still no signs of any spikes. Oh, another new growth. Right over there. Uh, yeah. So, it's probably bloom for me next year. I don't know, I think um, the reason I did not get this one to bloom is because this one does like a lot of water and over the summer I really neglected my orchids so she wasn't getting the water that she was used to getting. This one has been doing great in the semi-hydro and yeah. So those are my plants growing under the lights. They've been under the lights for over a month now, maybe almost two months. I'll have to look up. And, uh, yeah, that's my light update. Let's see, look at this guy. This guy can handle a lot of light. Let's see. Yeah, new growth. Looks good. Good color. Growth. Ooh, let's see. This new growth here is getting, is mature. Um, so, but this one did not give me a spike. Bummer. No spike. This one I could get a spike off of. Maybe there's still hope. But it looks good. 
So there you go. Update. Semi-hydro, growing under lights, and uh, what's been going on. Really the craziest thing is the fact that we got the purpling leaves. That's that's a sign of uh, a lot of light. That's a lot of light being put out by these crazy purple lights. All right. Thanks for watching.